think it's actually Fashion Week. The first week of being at Sawas and because it's the time when I met most of my friends and the other yeah, people I spent the next two years with really. I think actually, yeah, to be honest, this, the library rave, um, which was last year when we had uh, about 200 people um, to a silent disco in the library. And even though, I mean, I've learned a lot here and this was really a life-changing experience. One thing about SOAS is that yeah, it was more than just a place where I learn, but a place where I live. And yeah, raving in the library is, is definitely part of that. You want to find in one institution where you have so many people, so many different languages, cultures, religions, faiths, beliefs, arguments, debates. I think when I came to SOAS I was very arrogant and I thought I knew a lot about the world and um, after three years um, I think that I don't know anything about the world but at the same time I think I know a lot of stuff now that I didn't know when I came here so I think I've come to the realization that I don't know that much but I do know more than when I start. Um, I think SOAS has given me a more rounded perspective because SARS is quite small and you really have the chance of, you know, getting to know your course mates uh, and the teachers. Uh, and I think it has made me really appreciate the, you know, how important, you know, the ties that, that you build are. <laughs> I love the fact that it's in the middle of central London. I love the fact that it's quite small, you can see everyone in one place. Such great potential here. Most of the teachers are amazing. The diversity is probably the thing that I really enjoy most about it. Not only the diversity in uh, where people come from, but the diversity in ideas, the diversity in beliefs, and the diversity in uh, perceptions as well. I love the fact that you can literally talk about anything in the union and uh, with anybody. I love the fact that you can make friends with literally anyone from everywhere. I love the, the bar, the pub downstairs. It is fantastic. Friday nights they play some jamming music and I just go out and dance and it's a good time. There's something unique about it. You leave for five years, you come back, you still have that SOAS feeling. You know, everyone is basically the, the students make SOAS. I love the fact that you can be right next to Birkbeck or UCL and meet students from everywhere. I love it. Where can I stop? You know, there's so much love about this place. After that particular little speech about how much I love this place, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm still here in 10 years' time. I hope to be somewhere warm, warmer than London, hopefully. Um, hopefully travelling the world, doing some amazing things, maybe helping some people along the way. That would be really good. I think, uh, like other SOAS students, it's, it's really hard to think of leaving this place. Um, so, so yeah, I think kind of, kind of sad almost. It's, it's, uh, you don't want to really let go find a job or do a masters do the masters do the masters it makes more sense and to the master students I'm telling them to go do a PhD so we're just about to get the big SOAS photo we're putting everyone here on Senate House lawn the idea is to capture SOAS in its basic essence in one shot I said on three I want you to say long live SOAS one two three got one of the best educations in the world so let's not just become cogs and mechanisms I'm sure we've all learned that we don't want to become that but we're young inspired and even if your body's not young I'm sure your mind after leaving SOAS is young and your heart and your spirit is young so yeah, I hope I hope we meet somehow in the land of the curious and the land of the energetic in the land of the um, inspired that's where we'll meet.
whatever country they may call it.